It's your buzzy man world. And today is March. No, not, I'm about to say March, but it's May 27, 2022. And I'm in my fourth episode, I believe, of this playlist for the Bachelor reaction videos. The episode is episode six and seven. This these episodes are about Genevieve. The first one is about Genevieve and Shanae. The second one, I'm not gonna spoil that. But make sure you like the video. Comment what you think about the video and what you think about the things that I've discussed in this video. Share on social media with your friends. Share the link. Post this on social media, screen record, do whatever you gotta do. And remember to scroll down the video until you see the channel's name and subscribe to the channel. Let's get into the video then. In your way, but if you have moderate to severe rheumatoid arthritis, or sorry. I wanna reiterate that I appreciated both of the conversations that I had today. That being said, you know, the rose today is going to somebody who helped me see the truth in all of this. So yeah, it's like, just from the look on Genevieve's face, I could tell like she had enough, she wasn't dealing with this shit. She looked emotional, of course. Uh, when Clayton said, this rose is going to someone who helped me see the truth, he was talking about when he had a conversation with Genevieve about Shanae. So... Shanae... I just... I'm so sorry, but I cannot find it in my heart to give you this rose. So Genevieve, will you accept this rose? Shanae probably conversed with him about Genevieve, but whatever Genevieve said, it was pretty strong. Like, she, it probably was outstanding compared to her about Shanae's character, compared to what Shanae probably said to Clayton. And Genevieve was also obviously emotional, like I said. So, I remember the episode, but I forgot what the conversation was about in the two on one day with uh, Clayton and both of them. does get one-on-one -on -one time with Genevieve. I feel like she deserves it, especially. Before the two-on-one date, they uh, put their suitcases by the stairs, which is why they probably, the girls probably knew which one was for each of them because they probably saw it, you know. They, um, they, they knew because they probably watched them do it, talk about it, and or roommates with one of them. They probably some of them were probably roommates with either one. I don't know, but they was probably talking about it while it was going. Oh. <laughs> Genevieve, Genevieve, we made it. We beat out evil. <laughs> I feel freaking amazing. I feel so good. My girl is still here. Genevieve! Genevieve! Our man does not have a bad judgment of character. It's exactly what we needed and wanted, and it feels so damn good. Gabby and them were drinking. 
I don't know if he can handle intoxicated women, you know, because it seemed like all of them drunk. Like I said before, I think Shanae and Cassidy was drunk, and they probably, they true characters uh, come out when they drunk. So I don't know, it might help the show, it might not, but, you know, Clayton is just a dummy, of course. Y'all know that. And, yeah, they, they, the intoxicated women just don't be in their right mind. So I'm going to get into the next clip. We're going to do episode 7, and we're going to wrap it up. Are you nervous? I'm nervous. Yeah. Very nervous, yes. Why so? Um, I am, I don't like talking about my feelings and I don't like being emotional in front of people, especially crying. Mm -hmm. So I try to um, kind of put it off as much as I can. But try. Try to express what you feel. Genevieve hasn't had enough one-on-one -on -one dates with Clayton, obviously, as a few of the other girls have, you know. Genevieve hasn't broken her emotional walls, as Clayton likes to call it. I never heard of emotional walls before. Like, maybe it was a thing and I probably did know about it, but I never knew that people called it that. I probably thought it was called something else, but, you know, walls, break the walls now. I thought it was a metaphor for something else. I wasn't familiar with them saying it like that until the show I kind of felt uncomfortable hearing that, you know. But, yeah, she didn't, you know, tell him how he feel and how comfortable she was with him. She probably has trauma, mental health, or personal issues she doesn't want to share like a Serene did, Rachel, or Marlena, or even a Susie does. But, you know, like I said, she probably has some issues that she don't want to share. Something probably happened in her family, within her family or in her life that stops her from wanting to pursue relationships with other men, you know. Or maybe she's been broken hearted before. I don't know what it could be. So if Clayton can't see what is going on inside you, it will be difficult with a relationship. The thing is, I don't even think I know what's going on inside of me. That's mm. the problem. So how can this work with you two? What does Clayton need to do? I mean... Is it that hard for you? I want to get through and I want to understand like who you are and I think my fear is, is just that like I, I wonder if it's possible. Mm -hmm. You've done everything. Like I hope you know it's not you. It's obviously it's me. Um. Again, I, I didn't want to ever put pressure on you because I understand how challenging this entire environment can be. Um, but I mean, hometowns are next week, and I've really wanted to like get like to the point I feel comfortable doing that. Yeah, I. Um, Say what you want. Um, Jennifer, do you mind if we talk private outside the woods? He should have kept her home after the two-on-one date because that probably was a lot of pressure. And some of these things I just listed, I thought of these when I was reading the comments of this video. So, he should have took more time with her. He should have kept her home after the one-on-one. Ah, not one-on-one. It was a two-on-one day. After the uh, Shanae, Genevieve, and Clayton date, he should have had her stay home, uh, did the couples therapy with the other girls and after that he could have did a one-on-one -on -one day that night yeah he could have did a one-on-one -on -one date that night he could have talked to her on a one-on-one -on -one date about the same things he talked about with the other girls in the couples therapies you know to get her to break down her walls comfortably 
because that two on one date was a lot of pressure. So if he would have asked the right questions each one on one date, he would have broken the emotional walls from at he wasn't asking the right questions at all, but when a girl would open up to him in a one on one date, you know, all his one on one dates, girls were opening up to him naturally. But if he would have asked the right questions to get her to break down those walls without her doing it herself, you know, he would have been going somewhere with these girls, you know. So it's all up to him. He should have been asking the right questions. But when they would open up to him, he would be asking some good questions. We've had so much fun and I've learned so much about you and, and enjoyed having you here throughout the entire journey. Um, but with hometowns around the corner and having to meet families, I, it's really hard for me to see meeting your family when I'm not able to see what is inside the walls. Of course, you get that. Yes, I, I've taken a long time to um, let my walls down. I haven't even done that completely, so I completely understand. You have very strong connections that I think that you can completely see um, meeting their families, and I can feel and tell that I think we're both not um, at, like there yet. It just comes down to that you ran out of time. Yes. And so I just want to thank you for being you and for making this journey fun. Oh, thank you, too. It's OK with you. I'd like to walk you out. Yes. Even though I don't tell myself keep your walls up, it just happens. Nothing against Clayton. Anyone would be lucky to end up with him. I have some stuff to work on, that's for sure. I can understand why Genevieve was emotional. I just explained that. I don't think she has anything that needs to be worked on, like she said in the car, but she just needed more time. You know, if they were still at that couple's therapy and he would have stayed in the therapy with the therapist, um, I think it would have got much further than him talking to her personally. Because if he would have stayed, it, it looked like it was going somewhere in my opinion. I think if he would have stayed in a couple's therapy with her and she would have, you know, talked to the therapist a little bit more. The therapist would have asked her some more questions that would get her to open up. Because it looked like she was going to a place where she was about to get emotional, start crying, and take it slow to the point where she would say some things. I think that was a very good therapist and she did a good job with the other girls in the couples therapy. Um, but I really have no regrets because I did everything I could. It just wasn't meant to be. It's not that it wasn't meant to be like she also said in the car. Clayton was just not patient enough with her. Instead of being patient with everyone else, he was too patient with Shanae. Okay, I think he wanted to bring Shanae to the end of the series, to the, to the end of the show, so that he could have sex with Shanae. That's why I think he kept Shanae for a while. But, um, the key to some of the men's hearts is sex. Other times it is food or something else. But the key to every woman's heart, in my opinion, is trust. Okay, I, I think about it just like a, a man's relationship with a cat. If you bait the cat with food, you give it some time, you take your time to get close to the, to the cat, and you pet the cat, that's trust. The cat has to trust you to pet the cat. Because if the cat don't trust you to pet him, they go scratch the fuck out of you, bite the shit out of you, eat you like a goddamn pit bull. So if you can get a cat's trust, then you can get a woman's trust. It's the same scenario. You gotta bait him a little bit, you gotta ask the right questions, and if she opens up, then she trusts you. Okay, so if she feels this, I don't know, if she feels like she can always come to you, then she is in love with you. Okay, so that's it of the video. So 
Make sure you like the video and comment what you think about anything I said. Do you disagree? Do you agree? If you disagree, dislike the video. If you disagree, comment why you dislike the video. Talk shit about me. Say I, I haven't watched the series. Say this, say that, say that the third. But um, tell your mom, fish, cat, baby, daddy about it, about the channel. Tell your, your, your sister, cousin, baby, daddy to subscribe and you subscribe as well. And... Next time, we get into the video, and remember, we the original. I'm like a bird, I'm soaring in the air, but what's worse? The story never ends. Oh! It's the call and the answer. I'm praying for success, but God needs to answer. I'm trying to get my songs on the radio station. Not having a connection with God makes me stand the matrix. Need to open my third eye when seeing the bird die.